In this tutorial video, we're going to see how to use the hash set collection in Java. Now, hash set extends abstract set and implements the set interface. It creates a collection that uses a hash table for storage. So hash set does not guarantee any insertion orders of the set, but it allows null elements. Hash set can be used in the place of an array list to store the object if no duplication is required and if you don't care about insertion order. So every object that you put into a hash set is first sent through a hashing algorithm. The point of this algorithm is to generate a unique number, otherwise uh, known as a hash, uh, for every object that you pass to it. In this example here, the hashing algorithm returns the number 873 for the string uh, John Smith, the number 1 for the string Lisa Smith, and the number 998 um, for the string Sam Doe. These numbers are then used as an index to an array. When you call the add method of the hash set object, whatever you pass to it gets stored in that array at the index returned by the hashing algorithm. When you ask the hash set with its contain method if a particular object is present, it calculates the hash for that object, for that particular object, looks it up in the array, then returns true if something's there, and in the opposite case, false if there's nothing there. So uh, for more details on the hash set collection, uh, you can go to this link here, the official Oracle documentation of the class hash set. In the next step, we're going to see how to uh, use this in Eclipse. In this step, we're going to see how to create a hash set in Eclipse. So in order to do that, we first need to import the hash set uh, class from the Java Utilities package. This enables us to instantiate an object, in this case named HS, of type hash set um, using the default hash set constructor. So now that our hash set has been created, we need to insert elements into it. And we do that using the add method here. So the name of our hash set with the add method, and in this case, we're just adding uh, string elements. So in this case, uh, letters. <coughs> so B, E, C, F, and I've added two times A here just to show you that um, the hash set doesn't take into account duplications. We'll see that later on when we print out um, the elements of our set. So to print out the elements of our hash set, that we have two ways of doing it. The first way is a um, more complicated way. It's using an iterator. So an iterator enables you to cycle through a collection, obtaining or removing elements. Each of the collection classes provide an iterator method that returns an iterator to the start of the collection. So by using this iterator object, you can access each element in the collection one element at a time. So in a way, it's basically like um, uh, the enumerations method that we saw in um, the previous video. <coughs> so um, as I was saying, in this case, to use an iterator, we, we um, declare a variable, in this game named it, of type iterator, which is equal to our hash set uh, with the iterator method. Then we're going to use a while loop uh, here and with the following instruction, it.hasNext. Now hasNext is a method from um, the iterator. It basically returns true if there are more elements, otherwise it returns false. And then we're going to uh, print out this, um, we're going to print out it.next. Next is another is a, again another method of the iterator. And this basically returns the next element, and uh, it throws a no such element exception if there is no if there is no next element. So that's the first way of displaying um, the elements of our hash set. And the second way is just a simple instruction: uh, print system dot out dot print line, and the name of our um, hash set. So let's run the program and see, as you can see, uh, it prints out the elements in no particular order. So A, B, C, as I get, just to remind you, it doesn't take into account duplications. That's why we only have one time 
one time a. So a b c d f. So that's the um, that's displaying the elements using the iterator method, and using this simple method, uh, it prints out the elements in this fashion. So that's how you use the hash set in uh, Java.